Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and my lovely new background which still has creases in it. I have been told you can iron them but I'm not going to because it just doesn't feel like it should be ironed. But I'm sure if I keep doing videos the creases will eventually drop out. So it's a quick video today and I will link this actually if you like it and you like to take photographs of your cards because it absorbs all the uh, reflections so you don't get horrible nasty glare on stuff. Right, quick video as I said and two cards and I'm going to go straight in and the first die that I used on my first card is blessed. So you can see I'm being very seasonal today and you can get thousands of sentiments on AliExpress and I will link to them. This is just shy of three and a half inches. So it's a lovely die. And then I use this fabulous background. Stitched autumn leaves or sycamore leaves, I think that they are. And yeah, that's not a bad picture for a change. You can see close up. It embosses those little stitch marks into your card for you. And that measures, let's have a look, cut line to cut line is five inches and three and three quarter inches. So of course this is another one of those dies that you can use the whole plate or you can cut out a single square and do a sort of quilting tiled effect on a card or you can have a long strip for a bookmark or a tag. It's just a really lovely versatile die. And of course it doesn't have to be autumn. If you do these in bright lime greens and yellows, you can put all sorts of things onto the front of that that would represent summer. Turn it around that way so the leaves are not falling and it would look great with a big pineapple or something on top. So that is the other die that I used and this is what I made. I used different colour distress inks. I think I used carved pumpkin, fossil uh, amber and uh, candy apple and um, yeah and then just blended them all together. I think those were the three that I used. I used some cork ribbon that I had in my stash and that glitter card stock let's get a good picture there we are that glitter card stock is from Tuesday morning and my white card stock is from Michael's but there you can see the leaf embossing there it's just a really really pretty die so that's my first one and my second one I used, whoops, in and out rectangles. I now do have a link for these, a link that works. And this one is the largest one, so I'll measure that for you. And that leaves an impression of four and three quarter inches because, of course, this here is the cut line and then that will leave the impression on the paper and then you'll get the stitching on the one that cut out as well. And then that measures across the width there, whoops, just shy of three and three quarter inches. And then I used a gorgeous little Christmas house die, which is no longer available. But there is a similar one which has three snowflakes in the roof. So I'm just going to do a general link to the many hundreds and hundreds of house dies that they have on AliExpress. And it's a shame that it seems to be gone because it, it's just really, really sweet and it's a lovely size. So this is what I made. I left the jingle bells to free run along there because sometimes, you know, it's nice to give a card to somebody that they can play with. And I used two shades of gold jingle bells there. 
you get those in a mix from AliExpress. Don't know if my camera's playing up. And the gold glitter card stock behind the house there to highlight the icing because I think it's supposed to be kind of a gingerbread -y house and a door and four little windows. And then I used my card stock from Tuesday morning and my glitter ribbon there is from AliExpress. Gold twine as well. I just think that's really simple and really pretty. And do make sure you check out my hot pick today. I'm a real fan of gingerbread. And if you like gingerbread items too, and you've started using Dollar Tree foam board, you are going to love these gingerbread houses. Um, I've placed an order for them and I hope they hurry up and send them because <laughs> I can't wait to get my hands on them. They are absolutely gorgeous. Hands down the best gingerbread house dies I've ever seen. And I've inspected them, which is something that I like to do with dies. I like to have a good look at them to see how they would piece together and if I feel that they piece together to look exactly the same as the image that's presented and these do and they're beautiful dyes so I'm going to put those down in my hot picks today and these are the mixtures of jingle bells that you get on AliExpress so I will link to those and my lovely gold twine and I'm almost at the end of it so I'm going to be getting a huge skein so that I can put it into one of my ornaments that I showed you on yesterday's video so that is what I have for today and as I said I will put all links below and you have a wonderful day and I will see you with my new dies tomorrow bye